Here they come. Let's go down for the athlete introductions. The two archers joining us now, getting ready to shoot for gold and shoot for glory. Ladies and gentlemen, shooting on target number one, representing Moldova, Dan Olaru. And his opponent, shooting on target number two, representing the Russian Federation, Gelsan Bajar Shapov. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Heitmeyer. Well, there it is. The stage is set for a gold medal match. Time to go for gold here in Paris. And Olaru of Moldova went to the Olympic Games in 2012, finishing ninth. Has booked a place for Moldova at Tokyo 2020, and he's going up against the world number four former world university champion Gazlan Bajajarpov of Russia. Nervy moments for Bajajarpov in the semi-finals, but when Olaru shoots fast, he shoots well. Bajajarpov to get the gold medal match underway. No. 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 Both drifting off to the right with their first sighting arrows. Just watch the flags there where you can. The flags are all going to the left, and I wonder if they're just over aiming off. A nine here would be enough for an early lead. Eight, three. He's pushed it out to the left. A 27, a 10 will nine. match it, but it's a yeah. nine in the end for Alaru. Shooting fast, well, but the just drifting out the to the left. To so, so two set points to Bajajarpov. Nikki, you mentioned the wind. You've seen something that perhaps not all of us spotted. Yeah, I think it's just changing. You know, those flags give quite a lot of information. I think they move quite easily, but I think they could be all the way left with a small breeze or, or a larger breeze as well. And I think the first arrow they probably both over-aimed off, and then the, the, the latter arrow in the set, they maybe didn't aim off enough and they both went left with it. So I think it is making a, an impact on them. Yeah, the worst of conditions uh, we saw on Friday with uh, lightning actually stopping play, but that's really the only reason uh, for archers not to shoot. But when they are shooting, the, the most terrible conditions are uh, gusty winds, because they just can't get their aim right. As you can see, uh, the wind is gusting. It's blowing right to left, but not at a consistent speed. Olaru, the Moldovan, gets set number two underway, and that's what he needed. A 10 to settle his nerves. So again, opportunity for Alaro to put some pressure on with a 10. Yeah. And that's just what he's done. And now Bazajarpov needs a 10 to level up on points and hold his two set point lead. Nine. Drops nine. it into the nine and just like that, well, we're all square the again. A little just increase in intensity in their shooting. They've gone a little bit faster. Is that because they just want to 
get the arrow out of the bow and almost ignore the wind. Yeah, I mean, the best thing to do in windy conditions, especially if you don't know how to aim, is just shoot a strong shot, nice fast timing, because, you know, if you make any kind of error, the wind multiplies that error. So shooting, the, you know, the strongest shots you possibly can it is really important. Yeah, well, we've seen it very clearly. They're both shooting very quickly indeed in that second set, set compared to how they shot in the first. Not that the first was slow by any means, uh, but it was noticeably quicker in the second. Looks like Basha Zharpov's shaken off the, the process issues he was having in the semi-finals as well, Nikki. Yeah, less uh, kind of steering happening, so, you know, better balance through the shot. All square here after two sets as Baza Zharpov shoots first in this gold medal match against Olaru. Ten, you can see those Ten, flags in the background dies. gusting away. They're not blowing just clearly in one direction. No. No. So, a 29 is a great score, but Alaru on for a 30. Eight, three, two, four, the pressure uh, shot there. Couldn't have gone worse from a, a nine, would have been enough to level up the points, but in the end, pushes it over into the left. And, and you saw a little bit of steering going on as well from Alaru. So, wasn't necessarily just wind related that one yeah he knew immediately it was going to go left so natural instinct trying to pull it across see if you can get it closer to the goal if you can but i saw him kind of smile after that second shot he's looking a bit more relaxed sort of you know back to that normal uh sort of standard we saw of him in the semi-final when he's shooting really well so i was expecting him to take that one yeah there was a big opportunity for him and uh, 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 just again that uh, where opportunity abounds it comes with a certain amount of nerves doesn't it and a certain amount of tension yeah these guys definitely want to win this tournament you know it's a the penultimate test really to get your name on the top of a podium and show people what you're made of 4-2 to the Russian so Dan Alaru of Moldova will shoot first in set number four and puts it straight into the middle of the target. No. No. Again, we're back to that far shooting from Alaru. Well, here is a chance, a 10 for the gold for Bajra Zharpov. Oh, it's on the line. I think he's done enough there. Just about on the line for a 29. And just like that, the gold medal has gone to Gazlan Bajajarpov of the Russian Federation. He wins the match 6-2 over Dan Olaru. The pair of them secured their Olympic quota places for their countries. This was about individual opportunity. And it's Bajajarpov with the gold in Paris. <laughs>